This simple website, live streaming lo-fi music, is vulnerable to one of the most common web vulnerability. It is LFI, short for local file inclusion. It occurs when the attackers can include files into the web application without any form of validation. To explain more simply, it is when the attackers can access the local files on the server that they were not supposed to access by manipulating the input parameter. And with this, the attacker can access sensitive files like the configuration files, logs, or even the password files. In this video, we're going to be learning how to use the local file inclusion technique. This is the lo-fi CTF challenge from TryHackMe. So I have started my machine and got my target IP address. The description says there are some lo-fi bits to relax or to study. And this room is similar to LFI path traversal and file inclusion. So this could be a hint for our challenge. Our goal is to find the flag. So first, let's check if a website is running by copying the IP address, opening another tab and pasting the IP address, I can confirm there is indeed a website running and we get the very famous lo-fi bit. So in this web page, we have the search section and the discovery section. So this video right here seems to be relaxed. The first one from the discovery section. If I click on sleep and we can see a different video, I guess it would be the same for other links too. And if I play the video, I can see the video is working as expected. Some videos might not work, but it should not interfere with the completion of the room. So in this website, if I click any of the link and check my URL, I can see there is a query string and the parameter page is referencing the value chill.php. If I click on a different link like sleep, I can see the URL has changed again and it is referencing the value sleep.php. So this could be an indication that this website might be vulnerable to local file inclusion and how local file inclusion would work is by changing this value sleep.php to a different value that we want to request. We can change the value to a sensitive file that we want to request like the etc password file. So let's do it with our burp suite. I'll start my burp suite, turn my intercept on and refresh the page. And I can see a get request for the value sleep.php. Now, if I want to request a different value, I will right click and click on send to repeater and forward this request. If I check my repeater tab and first send a request to sleep.php, I can see I get the response code 200, which means my request was successful. I also get the raw HTML code. Now let's request for a different value. I want to request for the etc password file and send the request and I can confirm my request was again successful and if I check the contents of my response, we got the response hacker, hacker detected. So we did not get the password file. I can confirm by clicking on render too. So we were not successful in getting the password file. So let's go one directory up the file structure and try to access the etc password file. So to go up one directory in Linux, it is dot dot forward slash and I will send the request again. So again we get etc password does not exist. Let's go up one more directory. ETC password does not exist in this directory too. We can try to go up one more directory. And now I can see we got the ETC password file. So if you did not understand what was done here, since we do not know the exact path of the file, we went all the way up to the top of the file structure and tried to access the ETC password file. I'll show you in Linux. So in my terminal, I'm in the downloads directory right now. But if I keep on typing, change directory and go up one directory and again keep on typing cd space dot dot, which will keep on going up one more directory. As you can see, we are in the top of the file structure, there is no more directory before this. So we did the exact same thing here and were able to access sensitive file. So this is how the LFI vulnerability works. But our question says, we have to find the flag. So from the top of the file structure, if I search for flag.txt and send the request, I can see we got the flag. So I'll check the raw HTML code and copy the flag and paste it as the answer and we were correct. So that is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.